people don't support you. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody want to do their own thing. And then when you're doing your thing, a lot of people do talk bad about you. So you just got to you gotta block that negativity and just keep hustling. Get out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Headed to the top. Ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring. Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife. Got kids on property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. But she starred though, cause that's all it takes. Oh, don't flash it for I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. What's up, y'all? AJ Simmons here, back with another great interview for you guys. Today's guest is a little bit different. So, y'all know I usually do the cleaning business. Know what I mean, on my interview, but every now and then I got to hit y'all with a different type of entrepreneur because we like to educate everybody over here, right? As long as you're doing business, now I mean, we're going to talk about it. So today I got some family in here. Now I mean, I got some family going on over here, man. And um, he got a lot going on. I'm going to let him speak about it. He got a book going on. I mean, he, he got a podcast coming up. He, he do he in the music industry. Now I mean, he got a cannabis business. He got a, a couple of things going on. So without further ado, please help me welcome Mr. Leon Stewart, a.k.a. Lee Hancho. What's up, man? I'm going to jump right into it, bro. So real quick, just give us a little bit of background about who you are, where you're from, all of it. Oh, uh, well, you know what I'm saying? My name is Leon. Everybody call me Lee. You know what I'm saying? My rock name, uh, uh, Lee Hancho. Um, just a, a, a regular, regular guy, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make trying to make ends meet for my kids and, you know what I'm saying, taking care of my kids and all that. Um, I'm just a creative person for real, you know what I'm saying? Like I like the I like the thing outside the box of steady having the battery in my in my back, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody lined up doing the same thing. I like to be different. So like the way my life set up is like, you know what I'm saying? I just I'm a different guy, you know, like a lot of people probably can relate, you know what I'm saying? Like so you try like try to come up with so many like so many revenues and try to come up with so many like things to have passive income. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's my whole main focus for like to be on top, not the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be late. I want to be forward. You feel me? 100 you know bro. So, but but yeah, you're a different guy. I see you got a lot of different streams. So just real quick, could you name all of the different uh ventures that you got going on? All right, so um what I got jumping right now, I have my own um, music business. That's like me personally, like you know what I'm saying. I make my own beats, I do uh, my own recordings. Um that's that. I got I got I got a couple of friends that do my videos for me. You know what I'm saying? If I can shout them out, shout out to on the High Note TV. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check them out too on YouTube. Um, secondly, I got my daughter's YouTube coming out. Both of my daughters, um, they they see their daddy rapping, so they like, I want to rap too, daddy. So you know what I'm saying? So like, I just give kid, I just give my kids opportunities to do anything they want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I make sure I'm right there, guiding them the right way. You feel me? Um, secondly, uh. I'm starting this podcast. Now, the podcast I got is called, you know what I'm saying, it's, uh, The Top Floor. That's what it's called. It's called The Top Floor. Now, how that how that came about, I was staying in an apartment, you know what I'm saying, and I stayed on the top floor of my apartment. So it was like, you know what I'm saying, it was just the best word to use for it, like the best title. So I said it was called The Top Floor, and what I was doing basically like just explaining, like, talking about life, you know what I'm saying? Talking about everything that's going on in life, you know what I'm saying? Like, getting feedback from people, learning the business. That's how I came up, came about with my bro right here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's just, like, everything. And then um, a business that I got that I'm trying to jump off, like, off the off the bridge with is actually my cannabis business, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what I mean by cannabis, it's not just, like, I'm not, like, doing no, like, it ain't like basically, like, growing in, in inside a factory, basically, like that. It's, like, basically, like, I, I take I take cannabis and I turn it to drinks, turn it to food. You know what I'm saying? But I, the way I do it is, is I make sure that I'm using the right cannabis for the right people. You know what I'm saying? I like to get with, oh, what's, what's your pain that you're feeling? You know what I'm saying? All right, boom, I got a certain cannabis for that. You know what I'm saying? So I do my research on cannabis and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Being a user as well. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you got to you gotta be on top of everything. And then, you know, my Amazon, you know what I'm saying, KDP, I got my book out, finally dropped a book, and that's, that took me a minute, but I yeah. got it, I got it right, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm proud of, I'm proud of myself with that one, for real, that one really, like, talks about my life, and, um, like, 
high laws weight and everything like that you know what i'm saying like really get into that we can talk okay. about that more too <laughs> so look so let's jump in let's, so let's talk about the book like i know a lot of people want to write books you know what i mean they got they got dreams of doing it but they never do it right so it's simple but just share with us how did you even do it? Okay. You know, how did you publish your book? How did you write it? How do you like break that down for us? <clears throat> All right. So, so first thing, first thing I tell anybody to do when it come down to writing a book, from my my experience, you know, what I'm saying, not like not being a professional or nothing. I'm just straight rookie out of nowhere, just making a book. Um, do do some research. Like know know what you want to write about. You know, what I'm saying like. I wrote about something that I know that I catch people out because this was something that everybody wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Like losing weight is a big thing that like everybody want to learn how to lose weight, but they don't want to take the time out to really lose the weight. You get what I'm saying? So like I, I came up with a book and while I was writing this book, I lied not. I, I was in the gym as well. You know what I'm saying? Like going through the whole journey, the process of everything as I was writing this book. So once you, once like whatever you want to do, it ain't even got to be weightlifting. I mean, like working out or nothing. Whatever you want to do, just make sure like you on that journey while you're writing that book and everything's going to flow. It's just going to flow. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to just get to you right there. But um, I, uh, I came up with a book, you know what I'm saying? Amazon. I put it on Amazon KDP for the people who know KDP is, is Kindle Direct um, Publishing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's free. Everybody love free. You know what I'm saying? It's free. Um, only thing you got to do is just put your mind, put your mind, get your mind frame right, and, and and you know what I'm saying? Put your put your ideas on paper and do what you got to do the right way. You know what I'm saying? So like it was it was so easy because it gave you a, a step by step process. You know what I'm saying? And then like you just gotta use your knowledge from school. That all like whatever knowledge you got from like how people used to write stories, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got your thesis, all that. You just come up like, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> come up with a catchy title. And then once that title get catchy, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all like it's everything gonna flow. Like I said, like a river, everything flow. Uh, so, okay. So how long did it take you to uh, actually write the book? All right, so it, it actually took me what I say, four Four days and a half. I, I can't lie. It took me like four days and a half, though, for real. Because like after the fourth day, I was finished. But then yeah. I read the book over. Then I was like, you know what? I'm missing some stuff. Let me go ahead and write some more. You know what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> I, and then that's where that's where the hard part came in. Cause I was overcrowding my brain. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, is it good enough for the crowd? Or but it should like you shouldn't even worry about it. It should be good enough for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If it's good enough for you. And somebody's out there gonna like what you write, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to like please everybody, you know what I'm saying? As long as you please with your product or whatever you're doing, that's all that matters. Hey, that's a big yeah, fact. Man. You were locked in too, because it took me a year to write my jank, so <laughs> you were locked in for real. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. And let's talk about that the, the, uh, uh, the cannabis business you got going on. So, how did you get started with that? I mean, like, being, being like a smoker, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, all right, I just don't want to just base myself, just keep smoking and smoking. I want to do something different with it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some, let's get more money off it the, the legal way. You feel what I'm saying? So I was like, I was like, well, fuck it. I'm going to come up with a, with a drink business. So, you know what I'm saying? Got back in the thinking box. Right. <laughs> That's the main, I'm telling you, the main thing is your mind is the, the, the number one thing, bro. I got into my thinking box and I was like, yo, how can I make more money doing something that I like to do? You feel me? Yeah. Working a nine to five, I ain't gonna lie, I don't like doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, you gotta do it to get what you gotta get, you get what you gotta be at. So like what I did, I just came up with like the name for my business and then I started looking at like certain things that can help me turn turn the cannabis into like what I wanted to turn it to. So I started I started looking on Amazon for like products that that turn like turn like herbs to to liquid or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I came about and got them starting a drink business. Then I got my name. You know what I'm saying? I got my name. I just I just actually got my. It was crazy how I got my name. So I took the word cannabis and I took the word edible and I just put them together and I called myself the Edibus Brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like that's not. Like, yeah, so that's my name. You know what I'm saying? I'm the Edibus brother. Uh, I, I made my own logo, uh, digitalized it. Only thing I got to do is just put it, like, get a little get a little deeper into it. You know what I'm saying? Go the legal way with it, and I'll be, I be on the road with it. 
Hey, look. That's more of the hard part going the way. Hey, look, that's going to be my next question, too. But before I get into that, I just want to say something on what you just said, which was, like, you just told them the secret. Everybody be trying to figure out what's the secret to success. It's really that. It's like, yeah. like figure out what you want to do, research it, and most importantly, do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just do it. Like, man, so I want to make sure everybody caught that. For really, you got to take the action and just go do it. So now... Let's talk about what's the hard part of it. Now, I mean, like, like, I know you had some struggles building it. So, so far, what would you say is the hardest thing about building that business? Man, like, all right, so, like, the hardest part about, about that business is, like, it's, it's actually, like, promoting it. You get what I'm saying? Like, far as promoting it on, like, social medias and stuff like that because, you know, like, we we legal but it actually not legal you right. know what i'm saying like it's like so much stuff with that so it's like not even just dealing with we was like other companies too it's hard to promote like if you don't have like some knowledge of learning how to, to promote yourself you know what i'm saying because like you can get on social media today tomorrow the three o'clock four o'clock and just be like y'all follow my page blah 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 blah, blah. it's not it's not telling you that everybody's going to do that you know what i'm saying like people like it's like you have to come up with a certain niche something that will really like trigger these people to be like yo i got to see what that's about you know what i'm saying so like tell you staying consistent is the key for real yeah because it's it, it been hard for me plenty of times like like as far as like the um the business that we were just talking about like my edibus business is that's that's the hard thing to do because like all right so i got all all my everything i got supplies everything i got everything i post pictures of everything show people and stuff like that and still people still be like skeptical of, of buying your product just because it's not in the official store you get what right. i'm saying so like that's one of my hard parts of selling something that's not in the official like official like public building or something like that you know what i'm saying because people don't people some people just don't want to deal with that you know what i'm saying then dealing with the struggle of like the the pandemics going on so like like yeah i ain't about to buy nothing out of nobody house you get what i'm saying so it's like <laughs> that's the only hard part about like owning like a uh, uh any like food business or anything like that when you're doing it by yourself you know what i'm saying when, yeah. Yeah. okay that's, that's all it is yeah and i think that's too it's like a uh a cultural thing like we got to do better with trusting each other you know what i mean and, and not just thinking yes, everything you got to be in the from a big corporation you know what i mean and look, we got to do better with that. Yes, well, let's talk about the music now so i know you you rap now i mean you make beats uh what can yes, we find you and then also what kind of music can we expect to hear from you all right so um I'm I'm all my I'm mostly on YouTube, but I do have United Masters. Now, I know um I don't know if y'all know United what United Masters is. Some people know what it is, but uh, United Masters is basically like you own your own masters, so you become your own label. You post your own music, your own everything, like yourself. You know what I'm saying? So like I, I'm on United Masters. Um and that, it basically United Masters throw all my music on every platform. So you know what I'm saying? So Spotify, you know what I'm saying, Apple Music, YouTube, um, TikTok, like I'm telling you, like it, it throws on every platform. So you don't have to do the only thing you gotta worry about is just promoting yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, like so anybody wanna check my music out, just go to my YouTube. You can go to my YouTube, Sensei Lee. You know what I'm saying? That's my YouTube name. You can go to go there, you can check me out there. Um you know what I'm saying? You can go to Apple Music, check me out there. I got I got two songs on Apple Music. I didn't put too many songs on on on, on United Masters because I started finding like different revenues of how to like how to how to promote myself without using a company to promote me. You know what I'm saying? Because basically I'm like a middleman right now. You get what I'm saying? Like if I if I'm on United Masters, I'm a I'm middleman in my own music to them and they doing they doing job, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to feel like I'm the type of person I like to do everything myself so I know I'm on top of everything. You know what I'm saying? So, like, YouTube is, is the main, like, my main focus. Like, you can catch all my music at, for real. Uh, okay. So, now, I know you got the girls uh, doing the music as well. Shout out to Kylie and Kenzie. You know what I mean? So, where can we yes. find their music? And what is, <laughs> like, yeah, how, where can we find their music? All right, so uh, their music gonna also be on YouTube, and I um I came up with their own little YouTube page. Um, uh, they call Pretty K Girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so it's just like you know, it's just like a friendly name, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Pretty OK Girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, and so like, and reasons why I came up with the name, like, I came up with that name because like, there's a lot of it's a lot of kids that do like YouTube, like YouTube music, and then there's a lot of kids that want to do like TikToks and all that stuff like that. 
but they using like grown up music. You know what I'm saying? Like they do the YouTube. I don't allow my daughters to use grown up music. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you already know what grown ups talk about. So I don't like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it ain't nothing against nobody or nothing like that. It's just like my daughters, they always around me 24 seven. So they like, they basically a product of their environment. You know what I'm saying? Right, so they right. be, like right. the real bitch female version you know what I'm saying? so like so with me doing the music they was like daddy i want to do the music and my oldest actually was basically like the main one that wanted to do it so my little one she just followed behind the oldest so like i, I just came up with a name oh y'all pretty k girls you know what i'm saying because both of their names start with a k so i was like yeah both of y'all pretty y'all little girls you know what i'm saying boom and i just um shot their video for them I, i'll be posting that soon you know what i'm saying on, on their youtube page so y'all can look out for that as well you know what i'm saying but yeah youtube is the main place y'all can come check us out there. yeah definitely so make sure y'all look up uh, on youtube as well as the pretty k girls on youtube y'all now i know you a family man like you just already pretty much shared with us now but you also got these ventures going on right different businesses going on so like, how do you find time to balance? And by the way, shout out to uh, Kiwi, you know what I mean? My niece over there and your fiance. So, yes, like, how do, how do yes, you sir. deal with a relationship and dealing with the family and do business at the same time? Yeah, I, so, like, so, like, the way I was, way I was brought up, you got to have time. You Family is the serious, like, is this, hold on, let me take it back. Family is the main thing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that keeps me driving, you know what I'm saying? Keeps me going and stuff like that. So I try to make sure, like, early in the morning, I get up, like, 6, 6 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't got to work, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm, I'm up like I'm about to go to work. Yep. I spend eight hours on the computer while everybody sleep. You know what I'm saying? I, I do all everything in the morning while everybody sleep. So when they wake up, it's daytime now. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I make sure I got time for them. And then like when they go to bed, I put them in bed a certain time, like around like seven ish, eight ish. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, I'm back on my work, my work and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Just like from Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sundays is daytime. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'd like to take days off. But you know what I'm saying? I'm in this, I'm in this mode right now. I'm no days off leave. You feel me? <laughs> so uh -huh. So it's like, yeah, like balancing it, it it's kind of hard, but like when, when you, if you got a strong partner behind you and she know your, she know like your drive, your, you know what I'm saying, your motive, like they my motivation for real, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like I'm, I'm trying to get them some, I ain't never had, you feel me? So like, it's like, I'm a, they, they know what I'm on. So it's like every, every chance I get, it's just like, yeah, daddy, let's go. Keep going. Daddy, you got this. You got this. You know what I'm saying? So like they driving me. So. It's making me go harder with stuff I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Like so, I yeah. say family the key for real. Why why I'm like being like successful, you know? Say keep keep me motivated for real. Hundred percent, bro. Hey, hey, so, now I know you mentioned the top floor podcast. So it has it dropped yet? And if not, when can we expect it to drop? And where can we find it? All right, so I dropped. Um, I didn't drop any videos yet, but I did shot. I, I shot couple couple scenes. I shot three episodes of the um uh, of the uh, top floor podcast. Um, the first episode I basically was was just like explaining who I was and all that like that. The second episode we did a little little fun the fun little smoke session and all that. You know what I'm saying? Just talk about like schools and like just tell the kids like you know what I'm saying like. Not even the kids, like just telling everybody like how how it is like struggling in the real life and like trying to trying to build a business and all that like that. So it, it's basically like I was it's basically like a it's not like educational, but it's informal. You know what I'm saying? It's like informal and fun as well. You get what I'm saying? So it's like it's just like a, a little fun podcast. You wanna chill, relax, you smoke with me too while you watch the podcast, you know what I'm saying? Oh. It's just like that, you know what I'm saying? But like Wow, it's, it's 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 clutch though for real, man. And, um, we dropping that on YouTube as well. And um, I don't know if I want to make another page for that though. You know what I'm saying? Cause I want to keep my music separate from like all my podcasting and all that. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, like you, you can't have it. You can't. It ain't. You can have a lot of YouTube pages. You know what I'm saying? Right. One of them going pop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta make it consistent with it. You get what I'm saying? So like, yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I probably just. I'll probably put it on my music page for real, for real, for everybody to see it so they ain't got to keep, you know what I'm saying, typing in where to go and you know, stuff right. like that. So YouTube, number one again, you know. 100%. 100%. Okay. Now, let's jump into this lightning round real quick. I'm going to say a word or phrase, 
you just kind of say the first thing that comes to your mind. You've seen Drink Champs before, right? You know how they do it at the end. Or the yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a lot. okay. All right. So the first word is going to be Virginia. Lit. Okay. <laughs> Lit like hustlers. You know what I'm saying? Virginia's for the hustlers. For real. I ain't even going to count like for real. Because you got to get it out the mud when you out here in Virginia. For real. The, the, way, the way life set up. Like a lot of we all we all came from the creek, so you know how I go. Facts. Facts. Okay. Uh, how about cannabis? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, like for real, uh, cannabis. Um, uh, money. I say money. You know what I'm saying? Reasons being, I say money because it's a lot of things you can do with cannabis instead of smoking. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can really help people out out here, like, for real. There's a lot of old heads that people don't understand. There's a lot of old heads out here that's on medicine that, you know what I'm saying, like, the medicine that they on is really messing them up. And then, like, I can't even go, I can't even go too deep into that because that's where I come in with my book at, you know what I'm saying, the alkaline and stuff like that. But, yeah, cannabis, um, I say healthy living and, and, you know what I'm saying, money. And it's this is something I like, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh the music. Yeah. Um consistent. Okay. Consistent. I had to, I, I say stay I say consistent because you have to be consistent with this music. So many people is getting on for nothing. Like you get what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not knocking their hustle, more power to them. I'm happy for them. But you know what I'm saying? Like Stay consistent with your music. You feel like it ain't going nowhere, don't worry about that. Just stay consistent with it. Keep dropping. Keep dropping videos. You're going to pop one day or another. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Y'all can go to my views right now and see. I ain't even got that many views. But I ain't stopping. I'm going to still make music. I'm going to still make beats. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's what I like to do inside. If you stop any goal that you like to do, you don't want. You ain't want to. You ain't never want to do that goal from the jump. You know what I'm saying? That's just something you just wanted to do just to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so after every goal that I do, I this is something that I really wanted to do and I accomplish it. Once I accomplish it, I move to another goal. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Just keep moving. Like, that's all you got to do. Big fat, bro. Make sure y'all, y'all go check out that Sensei Lee channel so y'all can get them views up, y'all, and see that the views about. You know what I mean? You might actually yes, like sir. it. You know what I mean? Add it to your playlist. All right, what else we got? Uh, next word is help. Help? Yeah. Ooh. Help. Um... Big situation, big, important, like really important. Okay. Health, health is really important. Reason why I'm gonna say health is important, bro, because a lot of us out here, and I'm and I'm and I'm talking to like both sides of the race, you know what I'm saying? White, black, Mexican, everybody, a lot of us out here do not do not know how to be a be healthy, you know what I'm saying? Like to become healthy. So most of us sick because we go to doctors every day and get prescriptions that they supply us like people don't understand you got to really dig deep like dig real deep to understand like where i'm coming from but i can't like really explain too much like that because you know how that goes <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like you know when, 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 when it come down to health man like for real i say mm, it come down to health. that's like one of the main things like as as a person like everybody in the world should like have first on their list, like health. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, health is wealth. For real. You feel me? Health is wealth. Okay. Next thing is your favorite hobby, like when you got free time, you just want to chill with your favorite hobby. Oh, yeah. So, you already know. <laughs> I love boxing. Boxing is the... You already know. Hey, look, yeah. boxing is my number one go-to, bro. It's a stress reliever. Like, man... Y'all don't know how many times I wanted to go pro, man. Like, it's like, yo, and for real, I ain't even going to cap. I still want to go pro. And I'm 32 right now. I still want to go pro. You feel me? Like, re like that's my mind frame. I never could stop. So if boxing don't work, I'm definitely going to UFC. I'm right. going to one of them things, like, for real. Mm. Like, but boxing is my main hobby. Like, I, I love it, like, for the passion, for real. Okay. Uh, favorite movie or book? Favorite movie? Um, ah. uh, favorite movie? 
Menace to society. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's like well, I don't know why that's my favorite. Real, it's my favorite movie because like it shows you like real life, real life situations. That's like oh, uh, everybody be watching certain movies and they be like, boy, movies crazy. This joint lit like a mother, but whole time movies got messages in it. You know what I'm saying? It show you like what we go through as as black people or like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Race you are is what we go through in our hoods and you know what I'm saying where we from. Like this is what we endure every day, and then for us to make it out, it's like. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so glorious. You feel me? Like it's like when we make it out of the hood, it's like we in heaven, bro. Like for real. It's like we in heaven. You got that mansion that you want, you got that car that you want. You know what I'm saying? It feels good. Like, you know what I'm saying? To come from a one room shack type shit. Like people don't be understanding. It's true. Like one room shack be it'd be like that when we growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like the struggle is real. So like I like I like watching movies like that Training Day, you know what I'm saying? Got that on Men of Society, like all the real movies, you know what I'm saying? Like all the real movies, bad or oh, bad boy. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, now what's the best decision you ever made? Best decision I ever made. The person I'm with right now. That's what's up. My fiance. Best decision nope. that I ever made, bro. Like dead ass. And I'm a, I'm a reason why I say this for real. A lot of people are like, oh, you no, know I'm saying I ain't gonna lie. Reason why I say this because she keep me on my P's and Q's. You know what I'm saying? Like when we first got together, man, you already know how that shit was. <laughs> when we first got together, like it was like, a lot of promotion and stuff between you know what I'm saying the family and you know what I'm saying like that. But like she stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? And then like both of us like. We had kids, and then, like, I see how she is as a mother, how I am as a father, and I ain't never had my father in my life. You know what I'm saying? My mama always been my father. So it, it, it feels good for me to be here with my kids and she to be here with me, you know what I'm saying, through thick and thin. Like, I'm talking about poor through rich, like, all that, like, everything. We've been through accidents together, all that. Like, so it's like, yeah, I, I couldn't ask for no other partner but her for real. Uh, that's what everybody said, sure. too. I've been, I just started asking this question, and every guy been saying that. Is definitely the spouse that they chose, and the cuz really like dog. You got you got to have it. Got it. Yeah. I mean, a hundred percent. You right. got to. Yeah, yes, sir. The worst decision you ever made. Worst decision I ever made. Ooh, not staying consistent with sports. Okay. That's probably like my worst decision I ever made. Because when I got it, when I was in high school, I, I played football. I wrestled. I could have went to I went to states for wrestling, you know what I'm saying? I had got a um, scholarship to go to Penn State, but you know, like me being the youngest, I didn't take it because I wanted to be with my moms, you know what I'm saying? So like it's like, you know what I'm saying? But then I look back at it, I look back at it, I'm like, if I would have stayed consistent with it, I probably would have been somewhere that I that I could be right, you know what I'm saying? That I ain't right now, you know what I'm saying? Like probably gonna be rich or something, talking to LeBron sitting up or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Never know, you know what I'm saying? But I, I never know because I made the decision not to do it. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, that was one of my worst de worst decisions, you know what I'm saying? Going into working and steady, like, chasing out of my dream when I was young. You know what I'm saying? So now that I'm at this age, it's like I did all my all my planning when I was in 20, so now I'm trying to catch up in my 30s. Like, it's like, yo, same thing Steve Harvey said, you know what I'm saying? Like, we play around in our 20s, and then 30s come around, we're trying to catch up. You know what I'm saying? Then now, now I've got to play a catch-up game. You feel me? But if I would, if I would have just stayed consistent with my sports in school, once I graduated and just kept on going, who knows where I would have been? You know what I'm saying? Like, but I mean, that's the bad. It is what it is. <laughs> I was saying the good thing, at least you're still in your early 30s. You know what I mean? And you already putting things in place. Also, now it's just up from here. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes, sir. That's all it is. Last one for the lightning round. Top five rappers all time. Ooh, I, I was hoping you do this one. I was hoping you do this one. All right, so here we go. Yeah, hey, look, listen here, yo. Look, hey, they ain't in no order, but I'm going to just name my top five, all right? Okay. You got Fabulous. Okay. Um, Jadakiss. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. Jadakiss. Fabulous Jadakiss. Uh, um... Payroll hey, Giovanni. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a deep, yeah, Detroit. I, um, I'm going to say Nas. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and I'm going to say 
myself. I got to, <laughs> got to. I'm going to say myself, yeah. But in my top five, like, no bull. That's what's up. I'm glad to see five getting a lot of respect. I'm saying five lately, so I like that. All right, now. Yeah. I oh, mean, so uh, so what's next for Leon, man? Where are you going from here? Man, I'm just man. I'm going to the top for real, bro. I'm like, I'm I'm actually like about to get into like wolf mode. What I mean by wolf mode, I'm about to just like go hard, like hard, hard until I like something pop, something gotta pop. You know what I'm saying? I know the Lord, he didn't he didn't took me this far. Something gotta pop. You feel what I'm saying? So like, y'all can just, just like for real for like my YouTubers, y'all can expect more music. More hits, you know what I'm saying? More bangers, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and like for my people who like like reading books, I can expect another book coming out. Actually, working on another book now. It's gonna be more of like um, it's gonna be more of like night tales. You know, call it like night tales, like stories, like scary, like you know what I'm saying, like nightmare stories and stuff like that. Cause I like I know a lot of people like that Stephen King horror stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's around October coming up too. So I like the I like to work around the around the seasons. You know what I'm saying? So like that's gonna be one of them. um the drinking business. I'm about to start booming with that even more. Like for real, I'm about to try to like branch out into different states with it. Like you know what I'm saying. Like VA working for me, but like I'm gonna start moving to different cities and stuff like that. Like Portsmouth, Norfolk, Chesapeake, Suffolk. You know what I'm saying. That's all the seven five. Then I'm about to go up to right wars, Richmond area, and all that too with it. So like yeah, hopefully I can expand my business and make it something that it ain't. Yeah. What's up? Okay, now, what would you say to somebody watching this? Actually, before I ask this question, I always ask this question at the end, but I just thought of something. I asked you about your book and how you wrote it and all that. I don't think you actually told us what the name of it was, what it's about, and where we can get it. So let's do that for right, you. Right. <laughs> all right, so, so the book that I wrote is called Cracking the Code. And so, like, I, I, I put Cracking the Code because I actually really crack a code, like, People really like, yeah, what you mean? Like, I really cracked the code. Like, I went from, and it was like a weight loss journey. It ain't even like a weight loss journey book. It's basically like a, a guideline, you know what I'm saying? Like a guideline and also like what I did to lose the weight. Um, It, it talks about like alkaline eating. A lot of people don't know what alkaline eating. If you don't know what alkaline eating, I ain't gonna sit up here and and, and and teach y'all about it. Watch Dr. Sebi, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know who that is. Watch his videos, like he'll tell you like on the alkaline eating. And then like, a lot of people out here be talking about alkaline eating. And it's one of the best ways to lose weight fast and also establish a healthy lifestyle, like living a healthy lifestyle, like no diseases in your body, none of that. Alkaline is the way to go. For, for my, my, my African Americans, my Caucasians, the Mexicans, everybody, alkaline is the way to go. Like, people don't understand it, but like, they need to understand that that is like one critical thing that you need to do start alkaline and eating. Start alkaline and like, alkaline is the way to go. Now, my book, it talk about all that. It tell you like reasons why I, I wrote the book because. I, I, I did like a little test on myself. I, I used myself as a lab rat, you know what I'm saying? So I, I did alkaline eating and I went from 230 to 175, less than two months. Won't even starving myself for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Won't even working extra hard in the gym or nothing. I was really doing everything regular, staying consistent, just eating healthy. And I lost so much weight and it, it is ridiculous, bro. Like you can tell, if y'all go to my YouTube videos, you can watch you can watch my music videos. You can see where I was fat in some of the videos. And then, you know what I'm saying, as I, as I progress, I get skinny. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, Alkaline really changed my life for real, for real. It changed my life because, you know what I'm saying? And like just being being like I was heavy, I was heavy, you know what I'm saying? Like sweating a lot for no reason. Just I could be standing right here right now just sweating bullets. That ain't normal, you know what I'm saying? That ain't normal for, for us to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? So like alkaline man, I, I switched up my eating. Uh, um I'm gonna get y'all, I'm gonna get y'all example like what what the alkaline what alkaline is. So like it's more of letting go red meats. More of letting go red meats and sugars, you know what I'm saying? Like that, like the main thing that we all addicted to. You get what I'm saying? Like, like I, I, I read on the joint, I read on the joint before I started alkaline, and it was like it's 80,000, 80,000 species of plants on this earth that that's edible, but we only choose to eat three type of meats. You know what I'm saying? Beef, pork, and chicken. You get what I'm saying? 
people don't understand. People like, oh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess with red meat, but I'm gonna eat chicken. Chicken, the worst thing you can eat. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and I and I know it's hard to to, to do it and everything like that. It ain't like a diet or none of that like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, a form of like eating cleaner. You know what I'm saying? Clean eating and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But like you, y'all going to my book, y'all gonna see what I mean, bro. Like y'all gonna see like I, I I go into straight details. I'm talking about like official pictures, everything. Like I went into straight detail and everything. Cause I want I want y'all to feel like we family when y'all read my book. Y'all be like, damn, my brother crazy. My, my brother really losing weight like that. You know what I'm saying? Once y'all read my book, y'all gonna call me y'all brother, like dead ass real. And I had to jump out my comfort zone because I don't never show nobody my body. You know what I'm saying? Like just being like fat and all that. I, I ain't never want to like post pictures of myself and none of that. That's why I don't really be on social media like that. But now that I'm losing weight and stuff like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like it feel good. It makes you feel good. I ain't do it like because I wanted a nice body. I did it because I want to live longer for my kids. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be here long, like on earth and stuff. You feel me? We all grounded. We rooted people. So like. Come on now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, like you got to give up something someday. Something. Yeah, hundred percent. I know you in real life. I definitely seen the progression. You know what I mean? So y'all make sure y'all go get that book yeah, off of Amazon. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's cracking the code. It, it's rated five stars up there. Yes, definitely go get the book, cracking the code off of Amazon, y'all. Now, Leon, before you go, I gotta ask you this. I always ask everybody this: If somebody watching this video right now, they scared to take a gamble on that idea they got for a business or they scared to chase that rock dream or they scared to whatever. You know what I mean? They think they got to do that traditional nine to five route. What advice could you give to somebody scared to take that jump? All right. So look, this, this is the advice I'm going to give y'all. Step out on faith, not sight. You feel me? Reasons why I say that all the time because a lot of people, a lot of people, they be scared to take steps because of what they see and what they hear. You know what I'm saying? So, how high, high I go, how I go? See no hear, see no evil, hear no evil. I really, I really use that a lot. You know what I'm saying? And speak no evil. Like if, if you, if you, if you speaking, like, oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Then it's not gonna happen. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying. It's, nothing's gonna happen if, if like cause your your mouthpiece is, is your main focus. Like that that's what really gonna get you where you gotta be. So if you speaking negativity on like your goals, like man, I don't think I'm gonna make it, or like I'm always broke. Damn, I need you know what I'm saying. Like you gotta stop that. Like change yourself around and you know what I'm saying. Really like focus on yourself. Like focus on yourself. A nine to five is good when when you trying to when you trying to balance your money to get where you need to be at. But nine to five ain't good when you stuck in that same nine to five, get making somebody else rich. You feel what I'm saying? Like my mama always told me, she was like, when you get older, she was like, she was like, don't sit there and critique somebody else's job. You know what I'm saying? Come up with your own business. Don't sit there and 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 make somebody else rich. Make yourself rich. You feel what I'm saying? So like, there's a lot of people out here. I be trying to talk to. I be like, and they and they they be like, boy, shut up with that with that crazy stuff. I ain't trying to hear that. La, 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 la. You know what I'm saying? But it's people like you and people like me that's like, yo, I'm not about to be working for nobody. I'm about to do this myself. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody had a vision. And them people that you're working for, they had a vision too. And their vision came alive. Now they now they employing you. You get what I'm saying? So now, like, a steady them employing you, you can employ somebody else. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, at the end of the day, only thing I can say to people who, like, scared and stuff like that, like, bro, Step out on faith, bro. Like for real, believe in yourself. Cause that's the one thing you gotta do. Believe in yourself. Take criticism lightly. You know what I'm saying? Anybody to give you bad criticism, take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, take it and use it as a critique for your for your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had many of people tell me, "Oh man, yeah, your book tripping." You know what I'm saying? Like, "Oh man, I ain't about I ain't about to lose no weight with that book." But they start reading my book. They're like, dang, bro, I tried that joint. I, I done lost about 15 pounds less than a week. Is that is that natural? I'm like, yeah, it's natural because you know what I'm saying? You did, you, you, you stepped out on faith and you you tried it for yourself. A lot of these people they be telling you, oh, you ain't gonna make it, you ain't gonna do it. They scared, you know what I'm saying? They scared, like like sports, all that. People be scared, like, boy, you ain't gonna make it because they never they they don't see themselves making it. Everybody has a different vision, everybody's in a different box. You don't wanna be in the same box as somebody. That's why I tell you I jump outside the box and go in my own little box. You feel what I'm saying? So, like for real, stay consistent and believe in yourself. 
you 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 can really go far, bro. Like for real, for real. Really hey, go. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. And, and all I can do is co-sign that, man. Where can we follow the journey going forward? What can we find you? Man, look, man, all social medias, you know what I'm saying? Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I you know, if y'all want my info, I'll put it up there for y'all. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah. follow me on Facebook and go all right, so like my Twitter name, you know what I'm saying, is is Sensei Lee 13. You know what I'm saying? Follow me up there. I don't know how to post nothing on Twitter, but I'm learning Twitter as we go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh my Facebook, you know what I'm saying, Garcia Vega, follow me up there, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't be posting no negativity stuff like oh, you might catch me posting my music and all that thing like that, just to tell y'all go follow my music. Um, IG, GVS Lee 16, that's GVS Lee 16 on IG. You can check out my page right there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, Snapchat, Dwayne underscore Stu. You know what I'm saying? My YouTube, Sensei Lee. You know what I'm saying? That's my YouTube and stuff like that. Like, y'all want to check me out? Y'all want to hit me up? Y'all can comment, talk to me. You know what I'm saying? You can message me. I, I, I talk back. I'm not no, I'm not no robot. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Anything you want to know, if you're doing the same thing I'm doing, you want to know, like, how to critique it, or you want to know how to make beats or whatever like that, hit me, bro. I got you. You know what I'm saying? i show you the way, like, easy ways, easy steps. You know what I'm saying? I like to do stuff easy. You know what I'm saying? Always, you got to work smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? 100%, bro. Hey, pleasure. I appreciate you. You dropped a lot of gems on us. I'm proud of the journey that you're on, bro. Keep going. You know what I mean? And uh, i talk to you soon, man. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video and make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video because I know you did and also hit subscribe and right beside that subscribe button is going to be a notification bell. You got to click that because guess what? You never know when I'm going to go live. As a matter of fact, I might go live right now. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos. All right. And if you want to start or grow your business, check out cleanbiznetwork.com. All right. We have cleaning business starter kits. We have a lead generation service to help you grow your cleaning business, all type of stuff. And also don't forget to download the calculated clean mobile app as well. All right. So that's what I got for y'all until you click another video and go watch, man. Watch another video. Why not? Binge on it. Let's go.